Hallelujah. Can you put your hands together for Jesus? Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, the summary of what she has just said, she came to this uh, program with a lot of problems. Severe arthritis and several problems she mentioned here. Just here yesterday night, she is she's telling us that uh, she came with all these problems and then while prayers was going on she she uh, obeyed the voice of the servant of god what he told them told us to do and immediately she did that the whole problem vanished away a problem that have lasted for so many years just yesterday night those matter be became history can you put your hands together for jesus listen to me I told you that uh, yesterday the power of God came down here. If you are here in yesterday's program, you will believe with me that the power of God came down here and we saw it practically. Can you put your hands again together for Jesus? That is wonderful. That is wonderful. Wonderful. We are calling again um, another uh, sister, Victoria Okebaram. Victoria Okebaram. Can you come up and tell us what the Lord has done for you? O me ma na re kele di ma O me ma na re kele O me ma na re kele di ma O me ma piko na re kele. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm with Victoria. Okay, but I'm going to mechanic village next day. So I'm going to next day. I'm yesterday. Can't be this week. Oh, you know, ma'am. So I'm here yesterday. Even self. I'm here. 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 I'm here.
So, mas kwani yes di dag ma bia re ba. Mas ka be even ndo ma ha kwesi re ga ha ha tra moje. So, ama di week, mas kwana wa she devil is a liar. Ama bia re le ba. So, uh, whether devil like it or not, ama be instead of mu aga ha for god e be ba yesterday. I come on and be late. So, my dear, say bye yesterday. She make me be man at all go so. So, here today, and they never more see came this happy way to the app. Mass, you know, I got water. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, if you can see, you, you, you can see that she's just a new a newcomer. She was invited to come to the program. And then the problem in her life uh, tried to stop her from coming. But she said, no, I must be in this program. You can hear her testimony now. She came and she saw, she received the glory of God into her life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All the problems she had before yesterday evening, those things have become a story. They can, she can't find them again here in her life. They have become a, a history in her life. Can you put your hands together again to the Lord? I praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, please, uh, we cannot continue with this testimony because of our time. We are going to continue the, the testimony tomorrow. The, the servant of God, the man of God, wants to come in immediately because he is in a haste to release what God has uh, placed in his life. Praise the Lord. The power of God is about to come down again tonight. So let's listen. The last testifier, Stella Mekama. Can you come up and tell us what the Lord has done in your life? I get nothing. No, no, onion keepers or nobody ta, or but chichi, kaiga kwaniru. Oye ne me my pere na mi pe pere na zo, onye pe pare. Jove pere na mi pe pere na zo, onye pe pare. Watchman praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I am one and one. Stella make a mom from Ebu Fellowship. I was a make a chineke. Your man go madam. Two weeks ago, Ogaraga. Ebe, Garon, Olota. Yawronye, Achotara, Nime Moto. Ebonu, Nuzia Coma. Major Road Church, Jay Cotteran Nayuku. Oh, Pastor Law, or former. Yasim. Nam J Ebaho on a load. JJ check ye mo webon. So again potra. Umune wine a juam sike di hene memno. Ma gwaha has in ambruzo je baho. Wan woke maka wan woke bruzo sin or ozin yene miria e better o'clock na Saturday. Has in ambruzo je baho. Je check ye da side. Meru e baho. Has in ambuque number moto ni sim sia e meru e baho. What a dim, Yaburo Yamuro now. Mana Allah Chiremo, or Fuan Yaja Church as him, ne Lebem Shim Saumonia Watchman. Yasum Latin at Church I got when the members. Mark Boha, he were also with Egypt. Black Bodim, say brother, 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 or Ginekagina name, or Nahato Prohono, Heja Brumota Kemu, Bia Butea, Tia Papa Tani Mamoto, Doga Nimamoto Keha, Puria Gana Church. Ebachana ekpere na yuku se ka ha kpore ya gawa FMC. He buri eje wa FMC. Rueba hu uzade hu. He buri ega emekuku. Wanem mbe he ruru emekuku. Odi kwa ni hembiera wo church odi kwa na egumji. Ha ta so onwe he were kwo ma hospital that is deposit. Nye ni na doctor onidri ma obara. Ma nye ni ne umu na nwoke akuchanya. Nwa bi akpo na yuku eje kwo Onyishi from uh, our mama. Onye nka ha bara biya do. Sina ya ma heba na kwe me kuku. Mbobera. E me kuku ngunu oku. E be ni ne. He bide. Were ne ekpe ekpe re. Kwe gide ekpe re. Kwe gide ekpe re. Onye u e nigwe. Jihova. Onye na ekpe ha ki hore mem. A we rosa we rije. Biya gute. Ha we te ze dim. Dime lota. Yasine wakwe yonzo. Nam ke le chine ke. Onye rade bube ni mem. Uba. What I work out, when you need to tell you about. I'm making a chineke. You're not a killer. Now, Jesus.
Can you put your hands together for Jesus? Clap your hands. As you are clapping, I want you to rise up. Rise up. Ego. 
Okwagi wonye na pare Bible nga. Simu onye na gba pool ahu ge jo ko mo. Jeta kwa so we ko pool ke bia nam. Afo babu bwege. Ite huru si atu huru ko me ihe ni nemere. Si puru ibe gi no ko no nwa abagambo. Ibe gi no alowe. Ga yo pa yo nuyo bia chiri ete. Ndo zo okro nwa ya weta ga enye ge ya. Ga bia nga ibe ele marere. Afo ma ba gba go Uwaki, uwaku bukwegi. Le ma kwagi, ma kwagi. Amwa kula amwe shonzo. Gabi anu yominga. Ibi ake salama anu yo. Ima supiam je fefe. Ewe tu noti. Ma 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 kwagi, kwagi. Mwa afo ma bukwegi. Afo ma bukwegi. Are ni hem naga. Ibi arashi. Nye keko. Eko mshi ole wete. Fo ba ba kwagi oya. Get out to Legu, get out to Legu, get canonier, get out to Lodo, get canonier. Nihinamo 
Oh yes, Lord, the resurrection power has rolled the stones away. <laughs> oh yes, Lord. I praise you because you are good. You are mighty. You are powerful. Thank you, Lord. Because of what you have selected to do in the whole of the land of Imo State. And in the weary land particularly. He goes that's what you are showing now Lord God is showing mercy to some people thank you Lord The Lord God of heaven is restoring a family. A family that have been in trouble and shambles. <laughs> Madam, I want to tell you that you are going back to your husband's house. <laughs> That family that had been in trouble over the years. God is restoring that family. I don't know who you are, but you are here. There have been serious trouble in your family. But the Lord God is restoring peace. Lady, you are returning to your husband's house. Kruandiana Esepe Kusia Tenerisia Pena. I speak to the forces that are keeping your husband to release him. And I've released him. And he's returning to you. Thank you, dear Lord. Thank you, dear Lord. You lost your job over a number of years ago. I want to tell you that you are getting back that job. You are getting back the job. Some other person, the Lord is giving you a better job than you ever had. Kiana is so pariate jellias ketenia maratonia vetena. Isitona ika paroskinia matena. You are getting back the job now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Ah, thank you, Father. Ah, you renate all those kidney stones. You renate them away. You renate the kidney stones away and you are urinating them away. Thank you, precious Father. Thank you, precious Father. After tonight, after tonight, after this night, you will look for high blood pressure and you will not see it again. Thank you, precious Lord. Thank you, precious Lord. You are a pastor in a world where the diocese, the Lord is telling me, get ready for another height. Listen, get ready for another dimension of ministry. Mark what I'm telling you. In six months' time, 
God is going to take this particular person I'm talking about mm -hmm. to a height that you never imagined. Pastor, do you agree? That whoever the Lord is talking about, that the God of heaven should take the person to any height that you don't mind. Revival is coming up in Oweri. But the Lord is going to use some people to anchor the revival. Do you agree? Do you agree? Do you agree? Even if it is the smallest boy in this, this diocese, let God use whoever he wants to. Do you agree? Do you agree? Or where the people say we agree. And begin to tell God to use whoever you want to use. Or where the people tell God whoever you want to use, use the person. What we want is a revival in this land. Thank you, Lord. 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 Use who you want to use, Lord. We're on each other. Use who you want to use. Now, Balia. There has to be noise in the kingdom of darkness. <laughs> Tonight. I said Mbotu Geme, there is going to be now, uncomfortable noise, be noise in the noise kingdom, in the kingdom, kingdom of, darkness. of darkness. Tonight. Does somebody agree? Haba. Haba. Isukiana edevelo siya kapresi ya jelia. Ikoto miya sakuti empari ya sekusku. Matiana resokosi ya pari ya skina matania. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hey, who is in charge of Amakohia Church? Who is the church person in charge of Amakohia Church? church Jesus. 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 Come to the front here. Let me tell you what the Lord Let has said. Let me tell you what the Lord has said. Listen. Get it. Go and make a very bold and intimidating signpost. Just say yes, the rest said the red. Saram Baradio Bosara, the Yegu. After this program, some people are going to be looking for the church. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, there are some people the Lord is wanting to bring out from the Makoya Fellowship. There are some people he's bringing. Go and make a signpost that is intimidating. And why are there? Go no press kiss your son. Ah. 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 And when you do it, Amen. tell God I have done what you said I should do. Then you do what you said you will do. Then have and watch what God is going to do. By this time next year, listen, some people are seeing that signpost now. And they are looking for that signpost. But they can't find it. They can't find it. And they are passing. Where is this place? But they don't see it. And the Lord said the reason why they can't see it is because the signpost is not there. He will guide the hands of the artist and whoever will write it. He will write it and put it there. You have done your own. 
the people that have seen it will be passing. And they, hey, that's the place. And they will come. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Did you hear? Go and do what the Lord has told you. Thank you. Hey, Jim Chineke, man, you see. Jim Chineke, man, you see. Hey, Jim. <laughs> I make my boast in the Lord. Yes. Thank you, precious Redeemer. Thank you, my Father. Lord, you said something to me about this program and made me to know that it is the Dyson pastor that called me, but that he didn't call me on his own accord. That you were the person. Because there is something that you are going to do. Need and I'm going to read them out. You will make a unyo zatru gine ba bo manogi wa. Von Tolia ze frekisi ya pasani ata. Teti ere skina matania. He said, Oweri. Oweri. Imo State. Imo State. It's called the heartland of Igbo land. Isiala. Obodali Igbo nine. The heartland of Igbo land. And that it has a significance. And that the heart is the center of activities. It is from there that blood is pumped to all the locations. To the head, to the leg, all from the heart. Showed me a picture of a paint place. You know where it? No worry. No worry. It was a roundabout. He said it is the center of the Heartland State. He said Heartland State Center. I couldn't understand. He said, Go there. I went there this evening. And I saw. That roads were coming to that place from all the parts. And if you get stay there, you can negotiate to every part of Imo State. And he told me what to do. And I did it. Where? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the heartland. And that is the reason. He is doing this thing called Citywide Crusade. And the title is Metamorphosis Determined. That is change. That is that will surely be. Our pastor that ministered yesterday tried to explain what metamorphosis means. That it is a desirable change. No, Bumbangwe. Transformation. Moari. Transfiguration. Moari. Occasioned by the power that is supernatural. By the power of the most high. God Himself. That is what metamorphosis determines. And it is not by human intelligence. It is by the power of the most. Therefore, there are more metamorphosis. And metamorphosis is taking place already. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Excellency of righteousness. Sheila Ria Vascana He wants me to say what he wants me to say without fear or favor. Without respect of persons. Should, would I ask you, should I go ahead and talk? Heavenly Father! Go ahead. Lord, I ask them to give me a clock so that I look at time. Because if I go the way, we can stay here till very late. But I don't want us to stay here till very late. Try to be brief, Lord. 
But let nothing miss from the things you want to communicate. In the name of Jesus! Amen! <laughs> hey, you came here crying. You are going to return laughing. <laughs> and jubilating. That, hear me. You came here crying. But we will go home jubilating. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You left somebody at home. But you go home to find a person. By the hand of the Most High God. Yes, Lord. Yes. At all. You are not Ibu chuku, Ibu imadu, Yezeliwele, Ibu chuku, Jehovah, Ibu chuku, Ibu imadu, Abwangwangwele, Ibu chuku, Jehovah, Ibu chime. Ibu chuku, Ibu gimado. I say you are God. You are not a man. You are God. You are not a human being. The God of heaven. You came to this meeting with some definite thing in your heart. And you are asking God to do it for you. The person I'm talking about is either a, a pastor or a woman leader. And what the Lord is saying that thing that you had in your mind and settled that God will do for you in this meeting. That that is not what he's going to do. He said he's going to do something else. And that that thing he's going to do is what actually you need. Because that thing will translate you to another spiritual height. He said what you need is that you need to go to another spiritual height. And those problems you are talking about will fizzle out. So forget about that thing that you are talking about. And focus on spiritual empowerment. Thank you, precious Father. Thank you, precious Father. I give you all the glory. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You came for the first time today. Maybe first time. Maybe you yesterday or today. God is going to give you signs. That will make you know that where you came. Is not just an ordinary place. He will prove to you that he is here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You are coming here for the first time. I give you three weeks from today. Three weeks. It won't pass three weeks. And you will see how every, many things around you will be turning around. Turning around, turning around, turning around, turning around. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Your heart is perfectly okay now. You've been having a heart attack. But your heart is perfectly okay. The Lord has restored that heart. To him be glory forever. 
Excellency of righteousness, yes. speak now to us yes, Lord. by the word of your spirit. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can I hear another amen? Amen. I will start by singing this song. The greatest changer. The greatest changer. The greatest changer. The greatest changer. He has come to change most state from over a town. The greatest changer. The greatest changer. The greatest changer. The greatest changer. He has come to change most state from over a town. Man is given to change. That man can say, I will help you, but he may not be able to help you. Madam, what is he again? You're a guy, we got a book. Proverbs chapter 24, 21 to 25. Proverbs 24, 21 to 25. Please, I want you to pay attention. For what you are hearing is what God said. Proverbs 24, 21 to 25. And he says, My son, fear the Lord and the king and meddle not with them that are given to what? Change. For their calamity shall rise suddenly. And who know the ruin of them both? These things also belong to the wise. It is not good to have respect of persons in judgment. He that said unto the wicked, Thou art righteous, him shall the people curse, nations shall abhor him. But to them that rebuke him shall be delight, and good blessing shall come upon them. He said, Don't deal with them that are given to change, that meddle with change. I'm happy. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I hear was when the governor was say, talking, he said that he not, he said he likes watchman because they are the people of what? Truth. Did he hear it? Did he hear when he said it? I am happy about that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, don't give yourself to them that meddle with what? Change. That, like that. Change. 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 Giving to change. Who are never stable, who are never, who not keep to their words. Don't deal with them. Because they also are given to change. But who did the Lord say you should listen to? Malachi chapter 3 and verse 6. Malachi 3 verse 6. He said, for I am the Lord. I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He changes all situations. But he himself does not change. That is why who he is. There's nothing like he changing. But he changes all things. The unchanging changer. That the person that says he wants to come and do some changes in this place. Hallelujah. Metamorphosis determined. Metamorphosis determined. In the eastern heartland. In the eastern heartland. Eastern heartland. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And so. The Lord is saying, 
That is what I have come to do in this crusade. Therefore, I urge you to pay attention. Everybody within this arena, outside this arena, those who are hearing us from the road, or hearing us from the house, wherever you are, listen very well. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen very well. Pay attention for what God has to say. Watchmen, the churches, the church, the church, and church leaders. And the church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ordinary citizens, men and women, listen to what God has to say. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen to what men. God has to say. He says, I should tell us that he is God and that he does not change. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. His tenure does not expire. He does not sit for any election. He does not depend on your vote and my vote to become God. That he reigns. And he does that there is nothing like they will impeach him. And therefore, he is the governor among the nations. He is not ruling only a state. He is the governor of the entire universe. And he rules in the kingdom of men and in the kingdom of things. He gives the kingdom to who he wills. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, I will do my counsel. I will perform my pleasure. Whatever I want, that's what I do. And he rules in the kingdom of men. And gives it whomever he wants. Praise the Lord. Therefore, today, today, this today, this, this night, he wants to bring freedom to as many as are troubled and to so many as are in problems. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And how will he do it? I will show us in John's Gospel chapter 8 verses 31 to 32. How is he going to do it? John's Gospel chapter 8 31 to 32. And he reads, Then said Jesus to those Jews who believe on him, if you continue in my word, then are you my disciples and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. He said, that it is truth that will make the people free. The knowledge of truth you have. That's what will make you free. So every person that is in trouble. Is in trouble because of what you do not know. The truth you do not know. He so said when you know the truth. That truth will set you free. But when you don't know the truth, you should know. Then you will remain in trouble. Until you know the truth. And when you know that truth, the truth will set you free. And somebody will ask, what is truth? Just like Pilate asked him, what is truth? The problem you have now the problem everybody has now is because of the truth you don't know. That's all. When you know the truth, the truth will set you free. And we are going to talk about that truth briefly. This night. We're going to talk about that truth briefly tonight. And by the time we finish talking about that truth, a number of us, us will have their eyes open. And then the problems will go. Because that's what the Lord said. The truth you know 
And the truth you don't know. That's the reason why you are suffering what you are suffering. No wonder. Hosea. 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 The prophet. He said, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. God spoke through him. He said, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. That is to say, the things they don't know, which they should know, that is why they are being destroyed. If they know what they should know, they will do what they should do, and they should be saved. And so, any person that is suffering is suffering because of what he does not know. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And so, I'm going taking a message entitled briefly, entitled if Obrona I F Obrona if Obrona I F. First of all, I will, I will define if. What is if? And then I'll go ahead to look at some implications of if. How if that statement relates between man and God. I will show that if is what brought about the problem of man. Not if, that two lettered word. I-F. Obrona. Obrona. If. Obrona. That two lettered word has caused the problem of so many people in this world. But that's the problem from the onset. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And how do I start? I start by going back to generations. Genesis chapter 1. Now come below. Genesis. Genesis 1. Genesis is simple. Thank you, precious Father. Oh, yes, God. Genesis 1, I read verses 26 and 27 and 28. And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, of, uh, over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that created upon the earth. So, God created man in his image, in his own image, in his own image, in the image of God. Created he him. Male and female. Created he them. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the earth, over every living thing that move it upon the earth. And God said, let us make man. And in the course of making the man, he began, first of all, by creating the man. And he created man in his image. After his likeness. Gave him authority and power over everything. Every animal God created, the man named it. That is the extent, that is who man is. Now, he said he created him in the image of God. In the image of God created he him. And what is the image of God, if I may ask? John chapter, John chapter 4 and verse 24. He says, God is a spirit. God is what? A spirit. And they that worship him, worship him. In spirit and in truth. When God created man in his image, he made him a spirit being. So thereafter, God now planted some garden. 
But the Bible said, but I was so after that God had planted the garden, there was no man to till the ground. Because that man was a spirit being. He was, doesn't have a physical semblance uh -oh. to make him interact with the earth. Uh -oh. To till the ground. And so, God now decided to make the physical semblance of, of that spiritual man. And now he formed man from the dust of the ground and pumped into the man that spirit being. And man became a living soul. Genesis chapter 2. Genesis chapter 2. I'm reading verses 5. Verses 4 to 8. Genesis 2. Genesis 4 to 8. These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth. When they were created. In the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. And every plant of the field before it was in the earth. And every herb that filled that of the field before it grew. For the Lord had not caused it to rain upon the earth. And there was not a man. Did you see that? There was not a man to till the ground. And so, the Lord God now formed man of the dust of the ground. And breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward of Eden. And there he put the man whom he had formed. He formed man from the dust and breathed the creation, the spirit being, into that sculptor that he molded. And a contact of that spirit being and this dust coming together became what is called a living soul. Man became a living soul. And when that happened, two incompatible beings came together. One is the spirit from above. And the one is the dust from the ground. That's why the Bible says the spirit lost it against the flesh. The two are not the same. And the flesh will want to drag the spirit to hell. Because flesh and blood cannot go to heaven. And the flesh is saying, I am not going to heaven with you. Yes. Let me stay in this world and paint my body. Let me rejoice. And wear whatever I like. And, do, I'm and eat me. whatever I like. I'm sorry, because I'm not going with you. And when me. the flesh begins to overrule the blood, the spirit, that is when the two of them will go to hell. And so, they are at war. The flesh and the spirit. I will show you from the scriptures. The two are not friends. But they are living together. No wonder the Bible says. That when man dies. There will be separation. The, the, the dust will go into the dust. And the spirit will return to God. They are not from the same place. This one is from here. This one is from there. This one minds the things of the flesh. That is the reason. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's the reason for problem. In James chapter 1. James is simple. James chapter 1. James is simple. Verses 13 to 15. James 1. James. 13 through 15. Am I being followed, brethren? Eh? James 1. James. 13 through 15. You will see the problem of man. But I'll show us how it started. James 1 from 13. He said, let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil. Neither tempted he any man. But every man is tempted 
when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Simple. What do we call lust? The, 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 the desire of the flesh. That's what we call lust. A desire of the flesh. And that is what the devil took advantage of. And brought man into trouble. And made man to lose all the dominion God gave him. That's what happened. Romans chapter 1. From verse 1. I will show the reason why. So many of all that are Christians are still struggling with sin. Because something has not happened. They have, no, they have not known the truth. And therefore, because they have not known the truth, they have not been able to be saved. Romans chapter 8. I'm reading from verse 1. He said, there is therefore no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. What, what does he mean? He continued. Praise the Lord. Verse 5. For they that are in after the flesh, they do not mind the things of the flesh. But they are not after the spirit. They uh, that they are, are after the spirit, uh, chunky, the boy. things of the spirit. They don't have more than For to boy. be fleshly or carnally minded is death. But, they not, they not but to be boy. spiritually minded is life and peace. But and do do, but not even more. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God. <inaudible> For it is not subject to the law of God. <inaudible> Neither indeed can what be. So, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. Did you see that? As long as you are in the flesh, and the flesh is ruling you, he said you can't please God. It's not possible. As long as the flesh is in charge, you can't please God. And even though you are a Christian, you will find out that you are struggling. So many Christians quote that scriptures. There is therefore no condemnation to those in Christ Jesus. They stop there. But they don't go further. Don't know that he says that walk after the spirit, not after the flesh. So many Christians and believers today are not walking after the spirit. They are walking after the flesh. That's why they are ready to do anything in order to do wedding the way they want to do it. They are ready to do anything to marry if they have not married. They are ready to do anything to offend God and please the flesh. That is what is the problem. They are in Christ Jesus, but they are not walking after the Spirit. And the devil knows that if you are walking in the flesh and not in the Spirit, that you are, you are simply you are simply deceiving yourself and cajoling yourself. The flesh is ruling you. Any day he likes, it will make you to go and carry the hairs of, of women. The hairs that women donated to, to the gods in their, in their temples in India and other places. And then you go and put it. And when you look at yourself in the mirror, you say, I'm very fine. I'm very, very fine. I'm very, very fine. My friend, if you want to know whether you are fine, remove that, that, fish, remove that thing that you are carrying on your head. Remove it. So that you can see how you are physically. And because that's what the flesh likes. The lies camouflage. Your lips are black, painted red. Your, your lips are black. Mm -hmm. uh, are not red. Paint it green, paint it yellow, paint it white, paint it green. Hey! So that when you look at in the mirror like this, you shine. You shine your face. We'll be saying, yes, I am okay. I am okay. And then all the and all the things that are there. You will be saying, yes, I am okay. 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 I am ok
And then when you finish it, then you are fine. That is the reason a human being Madam. will sow a long magazine and cut it from down to this place. And the, and the pants will be coming out. That is what she wants. That's what the flesh wants. That's what the flesh wants. And as long as that is what the flesh wants, and you are responding to it, there is condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus. But they walk according to the flesh. You may be you may be answering a Christian and speaking in tongues. I have been your life. I have been your life. If anyone asks me, what's the matter with you, my friend? I'm going to tell him I'm born again, sanctified, Holy Ghost, I have a good life. Oh, praise the Lord. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm a tongue speaking believer. Before we start praying, you have started. And yet, you are carrying the properties of the devil. You are still carrying the properties of the devil. How then can you be free? How will problem run away from you? He said, to be carnally minded is what? Praise the Lord. To be carnally minded is what? Death. And therefore, so many believers are believers, but they are carnally minded. Men and brethren, that's where the problem lies. Now, when God now made the man and pumped the creation into the formation. And the combination of the spirit being and the, and the flesh being, the dust, now became what we call a living soul. Then, man had a dual nature. The, a tripartite nature, so to say. Because the spirit is there, came from God. The flesh is there, came from the dust. And then the soul person that man became, the spirit, the dust, and the man became a living soul. So now, because man was carrying the flesh, the flesh began to speak from the beginning. And the devil, the first politician in the whole creation, the first man that led Q, the first person that led Q, that said, I will not serve God again. I will be like the most high. I will occupy. I will make my, my seat in the north. I will overthrow God. If you go to if you go to Isaiah chapter 14, you see it from verse 1 to 4. Satan says, I will be. I will be. I will overthrow God. And he continued it. And God chased him down. And when he came down, and saw this man that was created the other day, having dominion over everything, how can I stay here? And this man will come to begin to reign in this world. After he had been thrown down from heaven, he said, I'm going to do something. I am going to do something. And he decided to go to the person. And what did he cash on? He cashed on, the stood on that statement called if. He cashed on the statement called if. And what is if? Genesis chapter 2. And verse 17. Genesis. See, Are my people following? Shortly, we'll be rounding off and praying. If. Chapter 2, verse 17. <clears throat> Let's read from verse 16. And the Lord God commanded man, saying, Of every tree that is in the garden, thou mayest freely eat. But of the tree that is. Of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day thou eatest it, thou shalt surely die. Now, 
That is where Eve comes. God said to Adam and Eve, if you want to retain this glory, then don't eat this. If you want to retain and retain these privileges, the image of God, the fellowship with God, the power of God, the dominion and everything. If you don't, if you want to retain it, don't eat this truth. If you eat it, you will die. That's where if comes in. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you eat it, you will what? Die. And that if gives man option to remain on this side and or to remain on this side. If you eat it, you will die. God finished it and went away. And they said the enemy of God came in. After he had been driven down from heaven, he went to meet the woman. Has God said you shall not eat of any of this garden? Say God said we shall eat. But he said we shouldn't eat this one. If we eat it, if we eat it, the day we eat it, that our eye, that we will die. And the devil introduced the greatest problem of man. Questioning the word of God. Questioning what God says. And he questioned it. And he appealed to the desire of the woman. He said, God knows that in the day you eat it, your eyes will open. You will be like God. You will know good and evil. You will be like God. You will know evil and know good. And you will be like him. And the lost in the woman began to speak. Did you hear what I'm saying? The lost of the flesh began to speak. The, the, what the Bible calls the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life, he started speaking in the woman. So it is possible to be like God. So I can be like him. Oh God, I've been deceiving us all this while. I'm going to eat this thing, I'll be like him. The flesh began to speak. And the spirit couldn't resist the flesh. And the flesh overwhelmed the woman. And the tree that was evil in her eyes before. When she, the flesh overcame the spirit, she now looked at it again. And it became desirable to make one wise. She plucked it and ate. And then her eyes opened. And she gave to her husband rather. And persuaded the man and they ate. And their eyes opened. From that day, God came. Fellowship with God ended. The worst thing that can happen to a man is when you lose fellowship with God. When you are not fellowshipping with God, when you lose fellowship with God, you are finished. Adam and Eve lost fellowship. And they sued fig leaves and covered themselves. So that when God now came, they were hiding. That is why every sinner hides from God. That is why every sinner hides from God. The sin in the body will not allow him to fellowship with God. And when they start sinning, they start avoiding brethren. They stop attending fellowship. They start avoiding brethren. They become argumentators. And then, everything, righteousness, they will argue it. They will be arguing to the desire of the flesh. I don't agree. Show me where it is written in the Bible. Show me where it is written in the Bible. Where the Bible said you shouldn't drink wine. This and that. And you shouldn't drink alcohol. Show me in the Bible where the Bible said you shouldn't drink your urine. Do you drink urine? Hey, why did God say? Did God say God didn't mention trouser? Why should why are you people saying it? God trouser. When God has said a woman should not wear that which pertains to a man. And then you are arguing. 
Show me. They didn't mention Bible. What they didn't mention trousers. Bible You are arguing for the flesh. It is the flesh that is arguing. That time your name is Eve. Simple. You are arguing to the to the to the likeness of the flesh. You are arguing. Let, show me where it's written in the Bible. The Bible says there are things you don't need to be told. You as a woman. Don't you know that trouser does not belong to you? Don't you know? If you want to know, go and join Luxurious Boss. Or join Boss. And we're going to Aba or going to Ware. We're going to Lagos. Or going to Guausa. And then let the, the driver stop. That's everybody going easy. And then let's see those women we are wearing trousers. They will run to go and enter bush. How will you get? Because you can't ease yourself until you go down. Uh -huh. Does your neighbor not tell you that that is what wow. belongs to you? Does your neighbor not tell you that that thing does not belong oh, to you? You are waiting trouser. for you are waiting for preacher. When, when we preach it, because when you wear it, it tightening, stretch jeans. And then your body will protrude here, protrude here, but protrude here. Yeah. Uh -huh. When you look at yourself in the mirror, you, you have dressed in the attire of a harlot. And, and you are happy. Hotel. And if you look at yourself in the mirror, and you are happy, you are Eve. Eve. Your eyes are deceived. Is somebody following me? Is somebody following me? That is why many so-called Christians will go to what? Hell. I am a new life. I have a new life. If anybody asks me, what's the matter with you, my friend? I'm going to tell him I'm born again. Sanctified. That's the reason. Many of us are filled with Holy Ghost. And our Holy Ghost unction, our go Holy Ghost, our feeling with Holy Ghost stops at speaking in tongues alone. But we should go beyond that. Because there are nine gifts of the Holy Ghost. Why is it that everybody is a champion in speaking in tongues? Go and check. What are the things that are there? My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And then, okay. when that happened, God decided to make, he decided to find a way out. And in John chapter 3 verse 16, God sent his only begotten son that if any man if any man if any man will believe on him he will not perish but have a everlasting life 316 that same word of God that if disorganized that if despised God used it to restore all things. That's why in, Genesis, in John chapter 1, from verse 1, he said in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And that word is the light that lighted every man that committed to this world. When it shines in darkness, darkness does not comprehend it. Thereafter, that flesh, that word was made flesh. And he dwelt among us. And they called him son of God. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. And the Lord said, let him go on the cross. And die and shed his blood. Because without the remission of sins, there is no salvation. Without the shedding of blood, there is no remission. Let him go and die and shed his blood. That after he has shed his blood, through him, Men will be reconciled. Again, we can and in it. chapter 12 of, I mean, verse 12 of Genesis chapter 1, I, heard it in that book. I mean, rather, of John chapter 1, he said, As many as received him, to them yeah. gave he power to become the children of God. God. Even they that received him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He gave them power. Oh my God. Let's read it. John chapter 1. John is simple. 
and verse 12. Verse 12. John chapter 1, verse 12. John, and it reads. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. He gave them power, power to overcome the flesh. When the flesh will speak, they say no. When the flesh will speak, they say no. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to tell you my little of my own story. When I gave my life to Christ, I used to be somebody who liked beer. And one day, when I had this kind of gospel, and I was repented, and still was liking beer, I told myself, what must happen? There are two things, what will happen? And one of the things that will happen is either I stop this beer or I continue it and leave Christianity. One day, I carried beer, poured it in a glass, and put it on the table. And I told the glass of beer, I jump up and enter my mouth. Jump and enter my mouth so that I know that you have power. And I waited. He didn't jump. He didn't enter my mouth. I said, eh. Okay. So it is me that will use my hand to carry you. Me will use my hand to carry you. I said from today, no more. I won't carry you. And if I don't carry you, if you can't enter my mouth, then that's the end of you. And after that day, it ended. Beer can't enter my mouth again. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Is somebody following me? That was how that one ended. No wonder the Bible says that if a man will cover his sins, he will not prosper. But if he will repent, he will confess and forsake. But the problem is that many confess, but they don't forsake. They are ready to go to confession every day, every day, every month, every week, every week. When they finish and confess, Sunday they will receive communion. Monday they start loading sin like Tipa. On Saturday, they go and tip it for priests. And after the offloading, they will continue, they will receive communion on Sunday they begin. You confess, you don't forsake. And Peter told the Jews, he said, repent and be converted. It's not only repenting, but repent and be converted. If you repent and you are not converted, you are still doing religion. The flesh is still leading. So, there is need today. So that when you receive him, he gives you power to become a child of God. To overcome the flesh. And the flesh will not rule you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, let's read this scripture and finally and then we begin to pray. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is if that caused the problem. If we if if e i f caused the problem. And God used a if. If you must, he said, if you must come out of the problem, you must decide today on which side of if you will be. Isaiah chapter one. Isaiah is simple. Isaiah one. I read from verse 18. Isaiah 1, from verse 18 to 20. He said, Come now and let us listen together. Says the Lord God. 
Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall, they shall be white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be white as, they shall be like wool. Now look at verse 19. You see where Eve is. You see the Eve? What did he say? If you be what? Willing. And what? Obedient. You shall eat of the good of the land. If you are willing and obedient. If you refuse and hear. You will, he said if you are willing and obedient. You will eat of the good of Imo state. You eat the good of a weary land. I am telling us the truth. God is bringing restoration to this land. I am telling us the truth. If you are willing and obedient tonight, you will decide where you are going to be. He said you will eat of the good of this land. Listen to me. There is good in this Imo state. There is good. Listen. Are people still building skyscrapers in Owere? Are people still building upstairs? Are people buying new cars? Eh? All these cars that I see, you know, where is there no people that are buying them? Why will you not buy them? Why will you be poor? Why will you be going in and out of hospital? Why will you? Why will you not eat the good of the land? There is good in Owere. Where you? Good. I'm telling you the truth. If the people in Imo state, if they will agree, he said, if you be willing and obedient, you will eat of the good of the land. Willing and obedient to what? To surrender to Jesus Christ and let Christ. the spirit be ruling the flesh. That's all. But if not so, now look at verse 20. He it. said, but if you refuse and rebel like Eve, you shall be devoured with the sword. For the mouth of the Lord okay. had spoken it. I'm finished. That's the end. <laughs> if you are willing you will eat of the good of the land. If you refuse, the trouble will continue. Didn't I see people when they were doing my friend, the this and that, many people are lala. Many people are lala. The market was stopped down. Listen, let me tell you. The people in Owere, they don't know where if one door open close, three more doors open. Is somebody following me? If one door closes, three more doors are open. But if your eyes are not open, if you are not, you are not willing, you will not see the good of the land. Let me ask. When Hagar, the maid of Sarah was oh. running away. Oh, Sarah. And at a point, the water finished. Oh, okay. He dropped oh. the boy. Oh. And was crying. Nah, kwa, kwa. And God said, why are you crying? God, the sea, again, the kwa, kwa. Pick the child up. She picked the child up. Oh. And the Bible said, oh. she looked by her side. Oh. And she saw a well. Who dug the well? The well had been there. But if your eyes are not open, you will be near well and you will not see the well. Is somebody following me? If your eyes are not open, you will be near the well and you can't see the well. And that's what is happening. If you are willing and obedient, you will see the good of the land. Peter and his fellow, we are fishing and fishing and fishing. And then we are throwing their net on every side. But when Jesus came, when Jesus entered, Jesus he told them to put down the net. On which side? Eh? On where? That means there is a wrong side. <laughs> Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! 
That means there is what? A wrong side. If you are not, if you don't open to Jesus and welcome him, you won't know the right Jesus. side to put your net. And you can fish from now tomorrow. And what you are getting is, 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 nobalela. What you'll be getting is all this crab that is there. No fish. Because Jesus has not shown you the right side. Is somebody following what I'm saying? There's a right side to put the net. And if you are willing and obedient, you will eat of the good of the land. If you don't like, let your flesh lead you. Praise the Lord. When we finish now, some people will say, Watchman, I'm not too hard. The watchman, no, no, gospel, no, dry gospel. My brother, <laughs> praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you don't carry dry gospel, you, you will not cook a spiritual food. Because when you carry a weight gospel, gospel that is weight with the rain of sin and everything you will want to cook with it and it will not it cannot okay, you go for it. it will not the soup will not get done but when you carry the dry gospel your spiritual food will dry your fire will come fast praise the Lord Hallelujah. that's the truth when you know the truth, it will set you free. If you reject the truth, you will remain in the problem. The Lord said, if is the answer. If chose to disobey God, if and she went into trouble. And today he's saying, people in Owere, if you are willing and obedient, you will eat of the good of the land. But if you reject, trouble will continue. The choice is yours. Rise up and let us pray. Did we understand what the Lord said? If you are willing and obedient, God is waiting for you. If you want to eat of the good of the land, but for sure, there is plenty in Owere. I'm telling you, if your eyes are opened, Open when you come, you. he will open your eyes okay, and you will know it will what to do in this way. No Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Good. They may have demolished your shop at New Market, at Ogumabri, and you say you are finished. I pack into the village. I don't agree with you. You will, you are, you are, what you are confessing is what you get. But today, if you are willing and obedient, after this night, tell the Lord, show me three doors. The pastor said that when one door closes, three doors are open. Show me the two to three doors. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Did you hear me? There is one of my friends. I don't have time for testimonies. And the young man was talking to me. And I was telling him, the Lord is saying you should wait. Something is coming. In February, the Lord told me to tell him that he should, that in February, that his blessing has come. February, nothing. March, nothing. April, nothing. April, nothing. May. May. He was called from Central Bank and given a job. And he was called to come and take his appointment. He was called for interview, rather. Right? In May. And he went and got the job. When he got the job, they asked him to come for his appointment letter. And when he went, they told him his appointment letter is not with the general ones. That he should go to the office of the governor, Central Bank governor. That that is where his appointment letter is. When he got there, the, the PA to the governor say, shook him. And said, so well done, my friend. You are the Central Bank governor's personal candidate. Congratulated him and gave him the appointment letter. When he checked it, it was backdated to February. That time was February. 
I'm just saying one. There are so many of them. My young girl called me. Said, Daddy, I'm going to, I have a, I have a job interview at Portacot. I said, go, you will get it. And when she got there, after the interview, she called me. And said, Pastor, Daddy said, I messed up. I fumbled. I said, don't worry. She said, but I have another interview in Lagos. And she took a flight and returned to Lagos to attend the interview. I told her that they will call you for that one, you fumbled. And he said it cannot be. January this year, she called me. Said, Daddy, guess what? What is it? He said they have called me for that job. In yeah. Oil company, servicing company, oil company in Portacourt. I am told to come and take the job. That one, she says she fumbled. As I'm talking to you now, she's still working there. When one door closes, three will open. And I want to tell you here, if you have lost your job, Three jobs are waiting. You will choose the one you are going to take. Somebody that is a medical doctor. I don't know who you are. You are a medical doctor. Three jobs are waiting for you. Meanwhile, you are working in the private sector. But three jobs are waiting for you. And you will choose which one. I told one of my daughters. And he was saying, I don't have any. And in the bank, they say, I said, you will get two jobs. Three jobs in the bank See, and choose. Who's right talking now, now, she just got an appointment and, and went to resume with that bank. And, and while she's working with there, the other the bank, bank wrote to him and said, Tell us what your job, your salary is. We will double it for you. Come and work with us. And she didn't say, They went and made inquiry. Found out how much she was owing. She was earning. Gave her appointment later. And increase the salary above. Mobile Gave her a step higher than the one in the bank yeah, she's working. And right. she's now troubled. He so said, like, Daddy, tell me like, well, yeah, which yeah, one do I take? I make a woman Please make. guide me. Because I don't know the one I should take. And another yeah. bank is waiting for her. Oh, yes. What is your problem? Oh, yeah, yeah, so if you are willing and obedient, you will eat of the good of the land. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. waiting for you here. Yeah, yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you are willing, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, begin talk to the Lord. I am willing and obedient. I want to eat of the good of the land. I want to eat of the good of the land. Oh yeah, and I'm waiting for you. We are waiting for you. The Lord is waiting for you. If you are willing, that flesh will no longer stand. Anuahua, you will not. You want to kill the flesh, but you will. Hallelujah. Amen. Ganara Jesus, onye wa nye nye regi ya nefu. Ganara Jesus, onye wa nye nye regi ya nefu. Ganara Jesus, onye wa nye nye regi ya. Ode uwe kuru ya. Eje regi ya nefu. One name Bianara, Jesus, only one in Yeregia Nefu, Shetele Bracutiana Masana, Jesus, only one in Yeregia Nefu, Cordo Bessiata, Bianara, Jesus, only one in Yeregia, Odigi Gukuria, only Regia Nefu, one name Bianara. Yanara Jesus onye wanyi nyere gia nefu Yanara Jesus onye wanyi nyere gia nefu Yanara Jesus onye wanyi nyere gia Odigi gwikuru ya onye regia nefu Wanne Yanara ya Yanara Jesus onye wanyi nyere gia nefu Yanara Jesus only one in Yeregia Nefu. Yanara Jesus only one in Yeregia Nefu. I don't know what I'm waiting for you. Oh, Yeregia Nefu. 
As you bow down your heads there, confess your sins to the Lord. Bible says in Isaiah 59, the hand of God is not short to save. His ears are not dull to hear your prayers. But your sins have separated between you and your God. You can't hide it from God. You can't hide it from God. Confess your sins. Ask him to have mercy upon you. Be sincere. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Join me to so make so this sincere prayer. So Lord Jesus, I have had the truth. I come to you as a sinner. I confess my sins to you. Forgive my sins. Lord Jesus, I accept you today as my personal Lord and Savior. Come into my life. Transform my life from today. Satan, I reject you. I turn away from you. I am no more for you. I am for Jesus. From today, God, cancel my name in the book of death and the condemned. Write it in the book of life. O oh Lord, give me grace to serve you from today in truth and spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 
all these men and women that have come out and they have confessed their sins according to your word, blessed Father, saying that if we confess our sins, saying that if we confess our sins and forsake them, we shall obtain mercy. Yes, Father, I pray, O oh Lord, that you show them mercy. Amen. Show them mercy. Amen. Show them mercy. Amen. Show them mercy. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All the troubles that have come into their lives as a result of sinful life and disobedience to the word of God. Father, by their confessions tonight, let everything be shattered in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, I pray that new life will come into their lives. Bless our Redeemer. The theme of the program is metamorphosis determined. Transformation. Let there be a transformation in their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Transform them from sinful life, from sinful living to righteous living. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let thy grace be bestowed upon them. Things that they were not able to overcome before they will begin to overcome them. Because of thy grace that will be bestowed upon them, that is already bestowed upon them this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, release your power upon their lives. Release your grace. Thank you, everlasting Father. Lord, I severe them from whatsoever be the power of sin that is holding them. Yes, Lord. Let that power be broken. Amen. Let them become free. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, blessed Father. You. Because you have answered. Yes, Father, by the power of thy spirit, let there be hatred for sin Amen. from today. Let them hate sin. Let them love righteousness. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. What's he praying? Thank you, sir. Yes. The Bible said if you are willing and obedient, you will eat of the good of the land. Listen to me. By this time next year, you are going to see remarkable change in this land of Imo, in this Owere. Very remarkable change. Thank you, Father. Listen to me. Put your hands on your chest. If you are willing and obedient, if you are willing and obedient, you put your hand on, the, on your chest and I'm going to pray. Time is not friendly with us, so I'm going to pray generally. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. All the powers that are hindering you and hindering the people in this Oweri, the church in Oweri, and everything, Father, I rebuke them in the name of Jesus. Amen. The God of heaven has come for restoration. Lord, you made me to go around that edifice seven times. Yes. And you made me to know that is a symbol of the collapse of the wall of Jericho. Uh -huh. The walls of spiritual Jericho in Oweri. Jericho, Father, I have commanded them to collapse and they collapse. Yes, Lord. Amen. Bring me a seat. White seat. Thank you. Lord, today I give the sign of the prophet. Yes. Petania's car. 
Wah! Lord! So, okay. have the problems and the powers of darkness, Paul, do not worry, mm-hmm. been shattered into pieces. Amen. So, put in a cover of darkness, your body is here. The powers that have held this land captive and bound. I arrest them by the name of Jesus. Jesus. Sheila Ribia's karma. Metamorphosis determined. Yes. Metamorphosis determined. Uh huh. Can I hear us to be shouting it? Metamorphosis determined. Metamorphosis determined. Begin to sing it. Metamorphosis determined. Metamorphosis determined. Metamorphosis determined. Metamorphosis determined. Shout it! Shout it! Metamorphosis determined! As you are shouting it, liberation, setting free, power of God is breaking the yokes. The yokes are being broken now. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. The yokes are being broken. Yes, Lord. Metamorphosis are determined. Metamorphosis determined. Maybe one by one. Whoa, Mary, him, Jaboya, Dicken, I am. Oh, Mary, him, Jaboya. Oh, Mary, him, Jaboya. Oh, Mary, him, Jaboya, Dicken, I O meriem ja boya di kena o yene mema riem ja boya di kena o meriem ja boya o meriem ja boya o meriem ja boya di kena o meriem ja boya di kena o yene mema o meriem ja boya di kena The 